Hello guys, uh, today I am going to do a review on the Farmers, um, not sorry, Farmers, uh, the MP5 Brass. Uh, this gun is a really, really good gun, uh, because it has a really, really big rate of fire, so that makes it, like, really, really good. Uh, one bad thing about this gun is that it's not really good for, uh, long range. It's, like, not not good for long ranges but it is okay for like mid or close quarter combats uh, so that's really one good thing about it uh, so the rate of fire is great uh, but uh, this gun is a little weak though so it's not really the best um, so I would really just recommend recommend this gun for uh, like uh, people that like like to go full auto on this gun uh, like a lot of guns because well it's pretty much meant for that uh so the recoil is uh really bad i guess uh because if you go full auto it's just like really really bad it just get, gets big and big and big and big and big it doesn't stop so um yeah it's uh one up like one con and uh uh yeah <laughs> uh also um Portability, I'm sorry, uh, portability is, um, I guess okay, I'm not really sure about the regular kind, like, not kind, like, people, uh, because, uh, my character right now is wearing, um, speed, uh, gear, mine's wearing, uh, that, uh, Cyclops bandana, and is wearing also the, um, masks for, like, speed and stuff. So I don't really know how it would work for like regular ones that don't like characters that don't wear any speed gear at all. Uh, so the portability on like that gun with the spirit gear is okay, not the best, but it's okay. Uh, and uh, yes, um, let's see. Oh yeah, uh, you can customize it. Uh, you can put a scope if I'm not mistaken. You can put a scope. And, um, you can put the extended magazine, uh, extended magazine, uh, scope, uh, and I, I'm not sure, I think you can put a, a suppressor, but I'm not really that sure, because I didn't really customize it. I just put, get to scrap it like this. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, so, that's a good weapon. I would really recommend this gun for just people that, like, go like to go like Rambo I guess you can say uh, because uh, close quarters combats and uh, not, like a medium range too uh, so yeah uh, the also one thing I forgot to mention is uh, the draw speed of this gun uh, it is good I guess um, and uh, the reload speed that one's a really okay thing uh, it is like a medium speed not that really fast, but it's not that slow either, so, uh, it's a good one, I guess. And, uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't have that much to say, but, uh, it's my real, kind of, first one again. <laughs> because I don't really like to count the Pharmacy 2 I did, because that one really sucked. It was my first review and stuff, so, uh, yeah, uh, so stay tuned guys, uh, next time I'm going to do a review on the L96A, L96A1 Holiday Wolf. Um, so yeah, you can stay tuned for that, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time guys. Uh, yep, see you guys.